stand still. Move across. Stand still. Sit. When your back's against the wall, we have to see who is willing to go to the edge. Do you have what it takes to be one of us? This series, an elite team of ex-Special Forces soldiers. Keep pushing! Let's go! From the UK and USA, yes! have combined their skills Line it up! to create the toughest course yet. What's the way? Get out of here! Get in there now! Let's go! Bringing together the most grueling elements of Special Forces selection. Come on! sides of the Atlantic. America's bringing something to the table! This is a combination of the best fighting forces in the world. Yes! I'm going to Vegas, baby! Collaboration with our brothers in arms has gone on for years. We got it coming! The American process is based on ours, but it's even more brutal. I want the recruits to learn through pain. This is a warm-up. Now we're going to get to the real game. Let's go, Mountain Goats! Each recruit must go beyond the physical. Get the tire! Oh, 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 to come face to face with their true character. You buffoon! You better not stop again or I'm dropping your ass. No other test asks as much. Keep working, keep working. Do not give up. Or means as much. Be proud of yourself, it all net. Come on. Give me some. Yeah. To the few who make it through. Good job, both of you. Excellent. <laughs> Welcome to the slaughterhouse, little lambs. ago, the nine remaining recruits were split into two teams and sent on the run for the escape and evasion stage of selection. On your knees, on your knees, now! Tracked by a hunter force, Team Alpha was captured and detained. Don't you dare. Mm -mm. None of us know where we're yes, We no. don't know. This is my choice. This is my decision. I'm doing it. Number 10, Reese has withdrawn from the course, leaving the rest of Team Bravo, number two, Dylan, number 16, Kat, and number 18, Shyla, still on the run. Follow the right side of the mountain, let's keep going. Just keep the same pace. In life, there really isn't much that I've faced that could prepare me for this. I work for Royal Mail and drive around the van and deliver parcels daily. Be careful, it's a bit rocky here, be careful. I'm someone who's always played it safe, so I want to find out where my limits are. Go, 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 keep going. Team Bravo are now two kilometers from the final RV point. That's it, okay. Quick, 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 quick. Go. I've had to really dig deep through some real dark, dark places. I lost my mum in the uh, Manchester Arena bombings. Two or three years ago, you wanted to walk two minutes in my shoes. I was, I was in some pain. Come on, let's just get to this next fire. I'll never get over it because it was such a traumatic time, and and it's just part of me now that, and I don't I don't want to get over it. She'll always stay in there. Let's go. Shit. Let's go. Into four, shake out. After five hours on the run, Team Bravo are captured. Special operations often are fighting deep behind enemy lines, so we are vulnerable to being captured. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. We are trained so that we have the skills to survive in the worst possible conditions. But if it happens, we're gonna get through it. 
We train in resistance to keep your head and your heart together and somehow stay alive. With both teams now captured, the eight remaining recruits face the most feared phase of selection, resistance to interrogation. On your knees, hands on the floor, head down. The DS have enlisted a team of specialist interrogators. With 30 years combined experience in war zones and special forces training. The point of interrogation is to extract information. If they come up against me and they piss me off, it's only going to go one way. The interrogators are always going to win. This phase of the course will be led by one man. Number 19, look at me. Listen carefully to what I'm going to say to you. The umpire, who cannot be identified for security reasons. I am the umpire, and I'm in charge of this phase. I cannot be impersonated. If at any point you wish to leave the phase, raise your hand and ask to speak to the umpire. The next time you see me, your participation in this phase will be over. So who am I? The umpire. And if you wish to leave this phase, what are you going to do? Raise my hand and ask the umpire. Absolutely. The recruits will be detained and interrogated repeatedly until they quit or the umpire decides to remove them. Between questioning, they will be held in stress positions and subjected to distressing sounds. The uncertainty of what's happening and their inability to control it is really mentally draining. If you allow yourself to dwell with your own demons, you, you lose. Less than an hour into the phase, number two Dylan asks to speak to the umpire. You've asked to see me? Yeah. What's the matter? I can't be blindfolded and in those positions. Just, I, I don't like it. I've got enough out of this, you know. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%, yeah. Thank you very much. No worries, big man. So I've seen him go. He's had what? Just to sit with his own thoughts, and that's yeah. done it. That's been enough. Shame. The first stage of interrogation is processing the recruits. The processing is really key. It's important for us that they understand that they are no longer in control of the destiny. You get it out of your clothes, every one of you. The fuck you move on. Psychologically, people will try to cling to what they are from the outside world. Listen to simple instructions. Take fucking clothes off apart from underwear. Uh, and, and removing that creates vulnerability. Well, oh. One quicker. It's almost to depersonalise them, demonstrating that they can't win. Look at your coveralls. Extremely large. Do you want to roll them up, do you think, so you don't fall over? No, I've asked you, just stand up a minute. I've asked you a question. Do you want to roll them up? Yes, please. Do it then. Thank you. Just st stood in the corner, taking it all in, working it all out. She does everything she's asked. Yeah, good effort. God. What we learned in Vietnam is that our super tough, hard ass operators were being tortured and killed and never giving any information. We lost Americans. You have to give little pieces of information to delay the process. 
You must always stay in the fight so you can stay alive. After group processing, the recruits will move into the solo interrogation phase. Take your hood and blindfold off. Brought in for questioning is number three, Claire. Would you like to be more comfortable? Please. Thank you. <clears throat> Do you want some water? Oh, that'd be great. Please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Are they... Are you on holiday? No, we're um, animal rights activists. Ah. My first time actually doing um, animal rights. Ah. Yeah. 24 hours ago, the recruits were given a cover story to learn in the event of capture. You are working for the Jordanian Nature Conservation Guild. What is it you're doing? Tell me. So, uh, I'm part of an animal rights group. Protecting what animal? Nuban Ibex. You need to know every fucking bit, because that's what will trip you up. And when they get a crack, they're on you. And you're fucked. Is the organisation a big one? Um, it's a company called Jordina Protect. Jordina. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible with, with remembering things like that. Oh my god, what is that? It begins with a C. C, 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 hang on. One of my weaknesses would be instant memory. <laughs> Because I've got so much always going on in my head. I'll be brushing my teeth, thinking, oh, fuck, I've got to feed the cat. And then I'm going out of the room, brushing my teeth, thinking, what was I doing? And I've got a fucking toothbrush in my mouth. Consecation. Do you reckon you mean conservation? Conservation. <laughs> um, honestly, I think I'm like a little the bit dyslexic. The first word you said wasn't a word. A little bit dyslexic and stuff like that. She's trying to remember, That's but it. she's covering it with humour. Definitely Ooh, speaks before she but thinks. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you're not making it up. Because I don't want to be wasting my fucking time, do I? Indeed. Stand up, please. Stick that on. You have to drip feed the cover story in order to bide yourself time and keep it plausible. How have you ended up here? Um, I work for Royal Mail, so I was just putting in my mech, which is like the letters. Mm. And then I um, saw a leaflet, which led me here. She's good. Clearly, cover story, reason for presence. She's covered that. It gives you a chance of keeping yourself alive. We were trying to locate a potential porches. Right, what what animal? It's, a, it's an ibex. Um, so it's like a goat. Oh, right, like yeah, the ones with big, the big, yeah, 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 yeah. horns and that on there. Yeah. Do not piss them off. So all of you are working are, are together? We've all come out at the same time to, okay. um, to do the same work. OK. You need to be able to read the situation very carefully. Take a seat. The next recruit to be questioned on her cover story... There's water there, if you want it. Thank you. ...is number 13, Sarah. Yeah, shrink that. All right, what's, uh, what's your name? Sarah. So what about the guys that you are with? What are their names, just out of while I'm here? Don't know. You um, don't know the names? No, I'm also terrible with names. I don't even know if you've said your name. Not even know, like, a first name or out of, what, four other people? That's all I got. A little bit of attitude. She looks cocky, doesn't she? Are you telling me, really, that you cannot remember one name, not I even one name out of four? Name. No, I don't. One name out of four? I, I can't remember one name. What, and I said I, what I you, can't What are you remember. laughing at? Do you think it's... That's funny. I think sometimes I come across a little cold, or I use humour a lot to try and relate to people. Because I'm afraid of not being liked, and I'm afraid that I'm not as much of a legend as I think I am. That sounds a bit like bullshit to me. I just can't tell you what I don't know. She's really flippant. She's just got the wrong fucking attitude. Right, I'm gonna ask you one more time. And this is the last time I'm going to be civil about it. What are those people's names that you're with? I don't know. Right, stand up. It's inconceivable that she can't remember a single name. Get her out. Get her back. 
That was a weak, weak performance from her. Fucking, we're not this fucking arrogant, are we? She, she, she's getting it. Interrogations. The remaining seven recruits are being held in stress positions. Stand straight up, you shit. Uh, stress positions are a bitch. Hands on the fucking wall. Yeah. When I was going through my training, they put me into a cement box. Uh, it's so small, you can't sit cross-legged with your he head straight up. Is it? Uh, God, it was freaking hard. It feels like it's going on forever. It feels like it will never stop. Another recruit has asked to see the umpire. Number one, who am I? The umpire. Talk to me. I'd like to voluntarily withdraw. Are you sure? Yeah. I can't get in the stress positions, so rather than you take it off me, I'd rather do it on my own terms. Fucking tough, isn't it? Yeah, one's gone. One's gone. One's gone, mate. The remaining recruits will now be questioned in pairs to expose any discrepancies in their cover stories. First in, and number three, Claire, and number eight, Paige. They both should understand that the fucking temperature's gone up. You're gonna have to help me. Mm -hmm. If you just write down the name of the organization again. Okay. Come over here, come on. Nice capital letters. Didn't have any. I said she didn't have any. Write the fucking answer, or I'll snap this fucking wrist. Happy? Don't be. <laughs> fucking stand over there now. Little cute pagey baby. I do think people naturally underestimate is I'm quite small. Uh, I do give off a ditzy impression. Keep fucking smirking. And I will fucking lift you up and throw you through that fucking door. But no matter what situations I've been put in, I've never truly broken. So, right, organisation you're working for? I'm just trying to get it out of my mouth. No, we can't take time in here. We can't take time in here. Do you understand that? Yeah. We've fucking spoke about this before, haven't we? Write it fucking down. Now! You had the mobile phone? I'm not sure. No, no, there must have been some kind of mobile phone or radio. How the fuck do you talk? I think Claire thinks she knows better, Paige, do you? Who had the fucking communication? Right, she, she doesn't want to get as aggravated. Who fucking had it? I don't know. I was meant to have the mobile, but I left it, so it's my error. Fucking error. get it written down. Write something fucking down. I am trying to stay calm here. Look at each other. Come closer. Come on. So these were your answers, and these were your answers. No phones. She had a mobile. Why don't you say she had a mobile? I didn't know she had a mobile. You didn't know? She snuck it up her ass, did she? That fucking prison break. The <laughs> fucking hell, she's the fucking jam! You fucking pair of dickheads! It's not making sense, ladies, is it? Fucking bullshit, yeah, innit? I can't help you anymore and can't do it. All right? Just look at Get that on. Get that on. Paige. In fact, take it off. Have a good look at my face, because it might be the last one you fucking see. Put it on. It's on. Thank you. Nobody's got a phone. Nobody's got a radio. There's a really, really fucking ropey story. It's clearly non-credible. The recruits are now halfway through the interrogation phase. They haven't slept or eaten in over 24 hours. I want to see the umpire. Who said that? 19. Is he going? Fucking hell. 
Let you look at me. What's your name, mate? Tom. You've asked to see me. I'd like to take that wheelchair. Are you sure? I can't take it. It's too much. Don't beat yourself up, kid. Right, just stay oh, where you are, mate. I'll get one of the DSKs. See you all right, Paul? Thank you. What's going on? I can't. I can't carry on. If I could have, I'd have put money on you. Glad uh, I fucking didn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> could have cost me a fortune. Well, I've learned a lot about myself. Hey, good effort. Well, thank you. I'm a strong shell. Thank you. For the remaining recruits, there'll be no let-up from the interrogators. The second pair to be questioned, a number 16 cat and number 13 Sarah. Sarah is the only recruit not to have given any credible information to the interrogators. And what's your name? Cat. Cat. Little kitty cat. You're like a little pussy cat. You know everybody you're with, did you sort of know all the names? Yeah. Because you, you, yeah. you know, we get to know each other, don't you? So the issue here is 13. You don't know anybody, but everybody here has named you. Did you know everybody's name? I didn't give any of the names that I didn't, didn't know anyone. No, 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 no. Oh. I didn't know any of the oh, names. Oh, good. What are you laughing at? I'm not laughing did, 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 Oh, I missed that. Did you laugh? No, I'm sorry. Oh, I, lo I love ladies that laugh. <laughs> oh, oh that that arrogance. Idea. That'll get you killed. Do you know what every one of them told me your name? Why don't you fucking know their names? No, none of that group that I was in, so I didn't know any of that. I didn't know any of their names. Can't need to think about it. You need to start thinking about this, don't you? You need to start fucking switching on, not just thinking about it. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I don't like people shoving me around. God! In my resistance training, they pushed me and they slapped me. I immediately reacted and I attacked the guard. I stepped back and ready to fight the rest of them. So they taught me a lesson and they brought out two helicopter crew and they proceeded to beat the shit out of them in front of me. Seeing these grown men crying, getting beaten because of my insolence. That straightened me up real quick. <sighs> Shut up! So we're at the stage where whatever one we decide is talking the most shit is getting punished. For me, currently, it's 13. It's like you've got to knock this arrogance out of her. Come on, move, out. Move, move. We've listened to you, we've talked nicely to you, we've made it clear to you that we're unhappy with you. Yeah. Now your life's in danger. You have to talk to stay alive. Big step up. Up, up. Step up. You need to do what you're fucking told. Up. What were you told about your fucking attitude? To try and get number 13 to talk, she will be punished alongside number 18, Shyla, who has so far impressed the interrogators. Because of your fucking attitude, she's getting fucking punished with you. Do you think that's fair? No, sir. Don't cry. Sorry, I just want to be better I'm not the best at expressing my emotions. If I'm not comfortable around certain people, then I find it hard to articulate myself as good as I could and struggle with telling people how I'm actually feeling. I'm gonna put you in this box and slowly fucking bury it. See the holes in the top? Yeah. What are they gonna let in? Sand, sir. What'll happen when it's full? Suffocate. You fucking will. You fucking lay this way. You lay opposite, looking at each other. You get your head up here. Sorry, sir. Get your fucking head up now. Get a fucking grip. And if you have a fucking answer for me of all the bullshit you're saying, we might let you out. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Better start banging on the top when it's time to talk. to talk to. <coughs> Are we going to fucking bury her?
need to talk to each other. Because one of you has fucking answers. It's nine hours into the interrogation phase of the course. Number 13, Sarah, and number 18, Shyla, are being punished. So are you going to start talking? Due to Sarah's poor performance. So are we going to fucking bury her? The interrogators want to push them to start talking and break their cover story. They should talk to each other and decide how they're going to get out of this fucking mess. <coughs> There. Make it a good conversation, because it'll be the last one you've never had. You break cover when you feel your life is threatened. <coughs> the moment you think that you are probably going to die is probably the moment you need to start giving them decent information. That'd be worth our time. Kneel up. <coughs> Kneel this end to me. Those two looking absolutely fucked. What you got to say? They're part of the British military. Is this fucking true? Yes. You may have just saved your own lives. Understand. Yes, sir. That worked. Yes. Good on them. Very good. Good girls. Number 13, Sarah, and number 18, Shyla, are the first recruits to break the cover story. Step out. Once you've given up your cover story, you're not out of the woods yet. All that's happened is that you've kept yourself alive in that moment. 13 and 18, just leave them outside. Get out on your back. Arms spread out. They will be left on the parade square until the other recruits confess, enduring an extreme drop in temperature as night falls. What I want to do is put the others along the side of the, the splash tank, blindfolds on, back to the water. Fucking in you go. The interrogators will now focus on number three, Claire, number eight, Paige, and number 16, Cat. This will be really unpleasant for them. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a shock to the senses. I'm giving you to fucking bad fucking people right now. Because what you bitches have been giving me and my colleagues is fucking bullshit! You your fucking face. First in is number 16, Cut. The point now is that you know you're not what you said you were, well, who the fuck are you now? You should have given us something more interesting, so now we're getting fucking bored. Do you fucking understand? Who's next? Do you want it next? You had a choice earlier, didn't you? You had a choice earlier, and you're not getting it now. Number three, Claire, is next. Ah! Oh. No, 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 no! Yeah. What did you say? I'll tell you what you want to know. You'll tell us the fucking truth, won't you? The truth! The truth. Yes, you fucking will! Well done. For me now, they're at the point where there are no more fucking chances. Yes, yes, off, off! And this. I'm a bit of a walkover, I think. <laughs> but I think when the odds are stacked against me, I just kind of dig my heels in and I'd say I'm pretty determined. So I'm going to ask you one last fucking time. Who are you working with? We're part of the British military. See, that does make sense to me. Now that makes sense because I understand why you were lying. Good girl. That is fucking him. Good work, interrogators. Oh, oh. Now, just two recruits are sticking to their cover story. <laughs> number three, Claire. And number eight, Paige. How you can redeem yourself is by telling me what you're doing here. It's a fucking game. No, sir. You fucking know! 
We're on a recon mission. Um, Who for? Um, the British military. I'll take that. That's enough to keep you. The final recruit yet to confess is number three, Claire. Right, what are you doing out here then? It takes a lot to break me. No more fucking about now. Do you understand? Yes. I used to wrestle girls from all over and they were tough. The mindset is it's at another level, you don't want to give up. And I was wrestling these girls going on for about 20 minutes. None of us had tap out. She literally put me in an arm bar. So in my head, I was like, right, come on, don't be a dick. Tap out, otherwise you're going to break your arm. And that goes with a lot of things in life as well, doesn't it? You need to know when, when you've got to stop. OK, what are you doing here? It was British military. Military? Don't want any more bullshit, you understand? Yes. Yeah? Make a good use of yourself while you're here. Very good job. I thought as a group, they've all clearly recognised they're at a duress point. Good. Oh. Oh. Oh, the umpire went down now, I can't. Oh. Unaware of the other's confessions, number 13, Sarah, who has been held on the parade square for the past three hours, has reached her limits. Number 13, to get this far is huge kudos, mate. Huge. Thank you. Not many do. All yeah. right? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> well done, mate. All right? Well yeah. done. Thanks. There you go. Of the eight recruits who started the interrogation phase 12 hours ago, only four remain. Take off your hood and goggles. Number three, Claire. Number 16, Kat. Number 18, Shyla. And number eight, Paige. Congratulations. You've made it to the final phase of this course. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. You four have shown us that you possess the determination, the will, and for damn sure the grit to cope with being captured. But don't get slack. We have a lot more in store for you. Yes, Duff. When I give you the order, you will be dismissed out to your accommodations. Dismissed! <laughs> Where's all the men gone? <laughs> I can't believe that. Four girls. The final day. Fucking hell, guys. That, I didn't even expect that. <laughs> <laughs> Just to get through interrogation. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, my friend. I know you're going to shut your gun, but I can still feel you here. <laughs> oh, I like Claire, you know all the words. <laughs> If you wanna be my lover, gotta, gotta get, get with, with my, my friends. friends. I really, really, really wanna zig zig. zig, zig yeah. oh. Last time, come on, they can do this. The final four, very, very solid, very competitive. Four women left. Yes. And all deservedly so. It could go to anybody, but eight, I believe, has the most left in the tank. She's made some mistakes, but it's never broke her down. Takes nothing away from three, 16, and 18. 18, I've seen her on the edge emotionally a few times. For some reason, she's able to just let it fall out of her face, tears drop on her boots, and then continue mission. I've been very impressed with that. She's like a ghost. She just fucking appears and does it. Um, she's didn't, still been a bit too quiet for me. However, the world deserves to be there. 16 has been just super impressive because of her stature. She's a fucking pocket rocket. No two ways about that. Although she is forward. She has had some wobbly moments. All right, Remy, what you got? Yeah, I like three. She's really impressed me, and she's come a long way. And I think, you know, that perseverance has gotten her this far. 
She never really did anything that wowed me. But if I'm honest, she's come good. We'll see who has the very best effort and the very best attitude. Even playing, they've all got the tools. Yeah. Who wants it? Recruits! Out on the bridge! You four have gone head to head with your male counterparts, some of them twice your size. And here you still remain. We've got one more task. We are going to be pushing to the edge. Am I understood? Yes, yes sir. Dismissed! The recruits are heading deep into the Jordanian desert. Today, the DS must decide if any of them has what it takes to pass selection. Both have made it to the end. The very end. This is the final day. You've got to show us and yourselves that you can achieve anything. We want you to work in pairs and then individually. We want to see nothing left in you. Clear? Yes, yes staff. Partner up, fireman's carries. Let's go! They will race across the desert in extreme heat before facing a final challenge. I do not expect to be shouting at you lot to motivate you. Go, not on. at this fucking stage of the game. Number 18, Shyla, is carrying number three, Claire. And number 16, Kat, is carrying number eight, Paige. I have no idea where my end point is. I'm worried that it will be my my body and my physical ability that won't allow me to keep up with the other recruits. But I'll put my head down and just keep going. Come on, dig deep. Swap at the same time now. Bye bye, this. Go. There we go. Come on, drive with the legs. After 200 meters, number eight, Paige, takes the lead. I would absolutely not be W from the course at all. You'd have to drag us off. Once I have my mind set on something, I will go out and do all I can to achieve that. As they approach the next RV point, number 18, Shyla, now carrying number three, Claire, pushes ahead. There you go. And takes the lead. I'm someone who, even if I'm in pain, I still keep going. And even when I should stop, I still keep going. I tend to push myself beyond my own limits. All the way in. Number 18, Shyla, and number three, Claire, are the first to reach the RV point. Hang on, teamwork. Who wouldn't be gutted if they didn't pass? Individual effort now! Let's go! But as long as I know I worked my hardest, I didn't hand my number in, I pushed my very end that I could physically and mentally get to, but that would make me happy. At a gradient of up to 40 degrees and carrying 35 pounds on their backs... Come on, best effort! ..the recruits now face an uphill battle as they race to the ravine for the final challenge. Let's go! Good job! There's not one thing that gets someone through selection. There's a multitude of things. The ability to bounce back from failure, the ability to be mentally resilient, the ability to be stubborn. If you can't physically keep yourself moving, if you haven't got the, the motivation to be fucking with it, then just disappear. 18 wants it! And if you want it, you gotta take it! Don't let yourself down now. Get there! Number 18, Shyla, reaches the top first, followed by number three, Claire, and number eight, Paige. Number 16, Kat, struggles in last place. To be an operator, to be one of us, you need to give it 
all you got, and if you don't, you are fucked. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Genji and Arnises, make that up and wrap it. What are you off? The recruit's final challenge. Is the hunt tough? This combined force of the USA and the UK. What are you? It is the toughest, the most dynamic, the most super powered selection course the recruits could possibly imagine. Put the mining gear. We really are a band of brothers. Do you have what it takes to be one of us? Right, okay, get onto the bars. Three, two, one, dismount. The four recruits must drop and hang from the bars, 50 meters from the ground in a test of pure grit and willpower. Do not let yourself down. <laughs> Number 16 cat is the first to fall. Number three, Claire. Just number 18, Shyla. And number eight, Paige. Remain. Whatever it takes now, you leave it on this bar. I think I do have the mental strength to get through this course. The reason I put myself forward for it is because I believe that I am stronger than what I let my fears allow me to think. Hold on! You better fucking hold on! I've been walked over quite a lot, and I value myself enough to be massively determined. I think people give up too soon. I won't give up. I want my children to see me as this strong person and aspire to be like me. Who wants it? Who really wants it right now? Two minutes. Number eight, Paige, finally lets go. Hanging tough. <sighs> Good effort, you four. Fuck yes. We just gotta be so proud of ourselves. Come on, guys. We smashed it. Little lamb. <laughs> little lamb. You strong mama. Little lamb. <laughs> it's the end of the course, and the DS must decide who has passed selection. So overall, when we think about the leadership, we think about consistently putting out 100% effort. To be honest, it's very fucking tough. It is. It's probably the hardest decision we've ever had to make. They've all done fucking amazing, all of them. To be honest, who held longer than the other? Sure. It doesn't matter to me. I'm judging this on the whole start to finish. Sure. When you think about it, when you're fucking in the middle of a firefight and your shit's going down and you think you're going to die, yeah. if someone's there thinking about jacking it in, do you really want them by your side? I think it's pretty clear then, right? I agree. Happy? I yep. agree. I am happy. happy. Yep. I'm happy. More than happy. One straight line in front of me now. Stand tall, stand proud. What you need to pass this course is strength. Grit, resilience, and the spirit to drive on. You have all excelled. These men behind me, myself, we think, who of you right now could fall in with us on operation and win the day? Number eight, step forward. Eighteen, step forward. 
number eight, number 18. Congratulations. You've passed this course. Oh, fuck it out. Great job, all of you. Come on, motherfucker. Good job, all Oh. That's what we say in America, tough motherfucker. <laughs> to be a special forces operator, you have to have the will to win. Good job. Thank Fucking you. great job. <laughs> Proud of you. Thank you. When I eventually passed the election, it proved to me that I could do absolutely anything as long as I put my mind to it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Fantastic job. Oh my God. Oh my God. And that's something that I take with me to this day. Three. Get over here. Oh. Get over here. Fuck that. In the beginning, you may look at a recruit, and on the surface, they seem to not possess the attributes of leadership and strength. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. It all comes down to an undying passion to be the best. You guys beat all the men, too. I mean, come on. Oh, badass. Thank you. Badass. You fucking did it. You fucking did it. Oh, fuck off. I can't believe it. what it takes to survive SAS selection. Go to channel4.com forward slash take part for more information.